flirt all the time, Chris. It's so annoying and stupid. I don't think it's stupid. It's really effective, actually. No one wants to fight anymore when Chris does it. Yeah, when Chris does it. So we should leave all that flirting stuff to Chris. But I think it'll really help if we could all learn how. Chris, please teach us. Ugh. How does one flirt properly? What did I do wrong? Well, I can think of a few things. Your beauty is transcendent. Your hair is like a waterfall. Jeez, it was like you were reciting from a textbook. It's poetry. And, and I think a lot of people would like it. So what if I read it in a book once? Don't just recite from a book. Eh? It's meant to come from here. My cloak? No, silly. From your heart. Ugh, so embarrassing. Uh, oh, well... Whenever you're close, you make me feel all flustered. Huh? Like, I'm nervous, but... It's... But it's the good kind of nervous. Is... Is that okay? <laughs> come here. <laughs> You two are so lame. If you're jealous. I'm not! <laughs> what did I have to be- we get the brownies already? Patience, dude. We've gotta let them cool down. Golly, you really are nervous tonight. Is it because your girlfriend's staying over? Shut up. I'm not nervous. Sup, nerds? Thanks for leaving the doors unlocked. No problem. Chris here was just talking about you. <laughs> I bet they were. Also, I may have eaten some brownies out of the pan. No offense, but they kind of tasted weird. Susie, those were not regular brownies. I'm gonna be tripping balls in an hour, aren't I? Uh, let's go lay down, alright? Uh, hey, why did you guys draw something like, uh, looks like you guys want to kiss? It's okay to express yourself, Chris. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> interesting. How very interesting. That boy, Rousey. His mere pacify spell loosened my control. <gasps> what a pest, I wonder. Just what would it take? <sighs> to eliminate those children. You will not harm those little ones. I will fight you to my last breath, Knight. Oh, it did not take much manipulating to allow me to make you harm your son. If you touch my son, you can no longer bring harm to anyone. We are in prison. Ah, but it will not be I who brings harm to the child. And if my precious son is smart, we are here to stay. However much it kills me that he will never know how much his father loves him. I will not allow further damage by your hand. However... Such noble words for a puppet. You are already losing energy. You grow weak with each breath you take. So how do you expect to stop me? I cannot. Dear King, you are even seeing things now. In fact, you want your soul back. Take it. I have arranged for tighter grips this way. <coughs> now, in just a few moments, you will be back to how you were before, with slightly tighter grips on your soul. It would take quite sharpened efforts to undo. <laughs> Much better, my knight. Thank you for your intervention. I will not fail you again. I am glad that you are back on board, King. And now we shall play the waiting game. This place sure is fancy. 
but big. I wonder where Lancer is. Uh. Huh? A story. Oh, wait. Sure, kiddo. How's about one about a little fluffy bunny? Okay, I'm up. But we've got to get ready first. Ah. <laughs> uh, all set. Mhm. Mm Hope you two are ready to walk for a while. This one's far away. Aside from fluffy bunnies and such, what do those strings that Necros use do? I guess the best way to describe what they can do would be manipulation, but manipulation in and of itself is a broad subject in general. For example, they can be used to create, regenerate, or even go as far as to combine or fuse things together. I guess it just depends on how they're used. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you didn't! <laughs> Why don't I take them back to the ship then? You? You never want to do anything. I... I just thought that since you seem keen on questioning my loyalty, why not prove it then? Hmm... Fine. You got ten minutes before I turn off the rope. If they're not in holding and they kill you, it ain't my problem. And change out of that outfit. This is not the time for cosplay. <sighs> okay, I think I've seen enough. I'm good. Please undo the rope, please, and let's hightail it before we're skewered. Hmm. Nah. What? This seems like a good opportunity to search for the kid. And besides, I thought it would be psyched to see a real pirate ship. Will we get to wear pirate outfits? Ooh, uh-huh. But of course. Oh! <laughs> cool. Now can you undo the rope? Sorry, kiddo. It's green magic. I can't really do anything to affect other magic types. Green magic? There are seven base magic types. Green is primarily shielding, healing, and restriction. And the others? You sure are full of questions today. Here's another. Do you know where we're going? Hmm... Uh... Eh? Really? <laughs> what does your soul look like? I have a few suspicions that I hope are false. Oh, well then. I, I, uh... If it's purely for curiosity reasons, th then I guess it's okay. Still. It's still a bit embarrassing. Why does your soul look like that? First of all, rude. Second, you're gonna have to be a bit more specific. What's that green little soul in your soul? Hehe, <laughs> soulception. There we go. That's the virus. It embedded itself in my soul when I got hit with one of the kid's infected knives. Is there something you can do to fix your soul? Something that I can do? Not that I know of. But at this point, I've pretty much just learned to live with the virus's annoying existence. 